Welcome back to GMA, live from Times Square. Good morning, welcome back to GMA. It was just a week ago that Beyonce's visual album, Black is King, dropped. Still making headlines. That's right. People are especially buzzing about the number of looks she was able to pull off. We are still gushing about it. And we're going to talk to Queen Bee's stylist live in a moment. But first, an inside look at what made the visual album a global phenomenon. The gorgeous dances. The elaborate hairstyles. And of course, the fierce fashion, a huge part of the visual album's appeal with the 24-time Grammy winner donning more than 75 looks. Vogue agreeing Black is King is the digital fashion event of the summer, upstaging official fashion weeks by aligning garments with history, celebrity, purpose, and unparalleled beauty. One of the most coveted looks, this Marine Sar bodysuit, and on fellow Beehive member Adele, sporting the same style. The global fashion search engine list reporting queries for Marine SAR, Crescent Moon print rising a whopping 426% in the 48 hours after the film's release. Beyonce's husband and music mogul Jay-Z showcasing his style prowess. Costume designer June Ambrose has worked with the rapper for more than 20 years and was the mastermind behind his effortless looks. My job was to find the right cord for, for you know for jay-z for mr carter i really enjoy the red suit with the headband and the, the retro polo shirt but then i also enjoyed him playing you know badminton with the big doberman pinching dogs and his trousers and a terry cloth polo queen bee's hair also central to the looks from the 30 foot long box braids onk inspired bantu knots and chunky senegalese twists after spending a couple hours doing my research about these pieces, like the horn, the bantu nuts, you know, the hat that was made into crochet that would make create a crown. The style spearheaded by longtime Beyonce hairstylist Neil Farina, who says these pieces are more than just about hair. You know, African women, their expression was about hair. So every piece meant something to them. It's about respect and dignity. All right, and joining us now is one of the creative minds behind the incredible looks in Black is King, Zarina Akers. She has been Beyonce's personal stylist and wardrobe curator for the past six years. Now she is here to tell us all about the fashion from the film, and she is going to share some of her style expertise with us. Zarina, good morning, welcome, and first of all, congratulations Hello. on just this amazing, beautiful piece of art that we are all still gushing about. So we are so glad <laughs> you're here to talk to us about it this morning. Walk us through your process a little bit and how you styled Beyonce and how you wanted to not, this wasn't just about clothes, this was about sending a message at the same time. Of course, you know, going into this um, or going into any project really with Beyonce, I tried to sit down with her, you know, and get her thoughts and how, like what's going on in her head, you know, and how she sees things. And then, you know, I talked to, you know, our creative director and we put it all together. But one of our early conversations, I remember her wanting to sort of pay homage to the art of water collecting um, and that it's still, you know, a very real daily practice for a lot of people. And with her wanting to do that and sort of create it into this very artistic image, um, we, you know, one of the earlier ideas was to create this sort of ombre look. So in the end, what it turned to be was this very beautiful fuchsia dress that she's wearing with the in the river with her dancers. And each look ombre is lighter and lighter as it goes on. So the dress is very languid and sort of mimics the shape of the water of the river and the water. Yeah, no, it's it's actually stunning. And Zarina, you have a look behind you that Beyonce wore. What was the inspiration behind it? Yes, this, you know, for me forever, as quiet as it's kept, one of the inspirations was coming to America. And you sort of hear mm. this sort of subtle music in the background from coming to America. And I wanted to take this these animal prints that people typically are afraid of and are afraid to use and that speaks to and, and throughout many tribes sort of the hierarchy in their society you know sort of the more pelts and things you wear um the, you know the higher your rank we used just animal printed things you know so i wanted to take these these prints that people are usually afraid of and kind of make them feel regal and rich and and kind of 
inspire people, you know, to be a little bit more adventurous in their wardrobe. Well, you certainly pulled that off. Now, Amy and I are told that allegedly there are some people out there who feel like animal print might be too much for a wardrobe. Not us, that's for sure. <laughs> How do you suggest bringing this to everyday life if, if somebody might have a little bit of, I don't know, trepidation about wearing animal print? You know, there's subtle ways you can do it, you know. So if you work in a more corporate environment, you know, maybe it's something I actually have some examples here. It's something like just incorporating a bag, you know, or a pair of shoes. These here are the Alexander Freeman shoes uh, that Beyonce wore in the film, actually, with this look. You know, so, and even like if you have, let's say, a zebra printed blouse or a leopard printed blouse, one way you can do that is just wear it with a simple, you know, pair of black pants. You know, I think there's subtle ways and kind of ways you can inch, but if you're really daring, you can mix it up, you know? So I think you can really layer on the prints and kind of play with some combos. I love that. Well, we could talk to you all day. Thank you so much. We are looking forward to working more animal print into our own wardrobe. Serena, thanks a lot. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.